Bienvenue dans Topic Conversation. Dans Topic Conversation, aujourd'hui, mardi, nous traitons bon sujet la santé. Et aujourd'hui, nous pouvons un petit peu le cholestérol avec lequel même, pour mettre en anglais, cholesterol and the heart. Et juste mon rappel que nos conversations, il y a une qui prend en anglais aujourd'hui avec simplement à cause de nous docteurs, il n'est pas capable de cause créole, mais où qui de la cour, envoyez une question en créole, pareil, ou tu peux causer que nous, là, et nous, maman va translate docteur et Uh, en retour, le uh, docteur il donne la réponse et il va translate, mais si vous êtes capable de faire bien anglais, tant mieux, envoyez même, comme ça le docteur il va répondre, nous pouvons cause un petit peu le lequel avec le uh, cholestérol, par exemple, il y a good cholesterol, il y a bad cholesterol, et nous need to check this, et très bientôt, la zone mondiale pour lequel il peut arriver. Alors, aujourd'hui, bon matin, dans le topic de uh, conversation, c'est le docteur Lotfi qui nous joint moi, il est un consultant cardiologiste dans le ministère de la Santé, Dr. Lotfi. Morning. Morning. How Good are you? Good. Très bien. <laughs> Comment ça va? Très bien, très bien. Créole, cause un petit peu créole? Speak créole? No, not, not, not good, because I just came to position three or two, four, four months ago only. Only? Yeah. Four months only? Yeah, yeah. But soon you will learn to, to speak créole. I, I was done, on the done. <laughs> <laughs> but not the bad words, huh? <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> the good ones. But yeah. bonjour, comment ça va? It's a start. Good. Yeah, très bien, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Lofty, we are talking about uh, cholesterol and the heart. We know that there are good cholesterol. We know that there are bad cholesterol. But how will, will a, pe a person know uh, th the type of cholesterol they have? Yeah, uh, and, and first we should know that cholesterol is important in our body, to our mm -hmm. body. Cholesterol uh, enters in the structure of cell membrane of each cell in our body, okay? And some hormonal, some hormones need cholesterol in senses. Mm -hmm. So it's cholesterol is not only bad, uh, it's an important point. The cholesterol only bad if it's uh, exceeding the normal range if the level of cholesterol is high or very high. high only, this, yeah, this only is a bad cholesterol. Not all cholesterol is bad because we, we need cholesterol in our daily activity mm -hmm. in the body cell, our, uh, <laughs> so up to cell level, okay? So that not all cholesterol is bad. What's the difference between the cholesterol and hypercholesterolemia or dyslipidemia? Mm -hmm. Dyslipidemia means, this means dysfunction. Lipid means fat, emia means blood. blood. See, dysfunction lipid in the blood, okay? This means all the problem is this lipidemia. Not all lipids is, is, is bad. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, it's a very important point. So this lipidemia means dysfunction lipid in the blood. Like, you know, anemia means no blood, and equal not. Equal emia, ah. like blood, in Latin. So anemia, no blood. So Lipidemia, fat on the blood. This means dysfunction. Dysfunction, fat in the blood only. Not all fat in the blood is, is bad. It's bad. Yeah. So we like to say that the fat on the blood, that means the blood nous fait nous fait pas un peu précaution pas plus nous fait très attention donc qui nous peut cause là nous peut cause uh, good cholesterol avec bad cholesterol nous disait pas uh, faire attention là un petit peu là mais pareil il m'expliquait pas tout cholestérol qui veut dire qui est pas bon à cause nous besoin on a cholestérol dans le corps we have to have cholesterol in the in the body yeah we should we should have this problem low cholesterol is not good <laughs> but uh, the, the problem is not on all cholesterol because we have four types or three types of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Okay, the famous one is we have more types, but the famous one is uh, two type cholesterol is in lab and LDL cholesterol, low density lipoprotein cholesterol. What and is that? These types of cholesterol. Okay, we have low density lipoprotein cholesterol and high density lipoprotein cholesterol and triglycerides. Okay, this is the major types of cholesterol. When you do the lab, you do total cholesterol, all of them, and differential, LDL and HDL and triglyceride. Triglyceride is the fat, when you, t you eat fat, this transform only to triglyceride at the same time, 
okay? Mm -hmm. But LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol is metabolism of cholesterol in the liver, okay? The LDL cholesterol is bad one. HDL cholesterol is, uh, sorry, LDL cholesterol is bad one. HDL cholesterol is good one. So when you have high level of LDL cholesterol, that may cause problem in heart, in stroke, and cerebral vascular disease, mm -hmm. in vascular, in vascularity. HDL is good one. Why? What's the difference between LDL and HDL? Okay, you can? Yes. Okay. LDL is bad. Why? Because LDL, when in level, it's level increasing, they go to blood vessel and precipitate in the wall of the blood vessel. Okay, this bad cholesterol because causing stenosis, causing atherosclerosis. HDL function is very, very important because it's bring up the LDL cholesterol back to the liver to be metabolized. So all the time we need to increase HDL and decrease LDL to maintain good life. You have to maintain this? Yeah. All the time? All the time. But how, how can do that? This is an important right. question. How can you do that? Yeah. First one, healthy diet. Healthy diet means uh, fi high fiber diet, complex carbohydrate, healthy fat, no processed meat, no processed food, mm -hmm. all of us. Give, 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 give us an example of those healthy fats. Healthy fats is natural lipid, that butter, like butter, but natural, not plant, not vegetables, butter, mm -hmm. you know? And carbohydrate, complex carbohydrate, not not no sugar, no more sugar. Simple sugar is causing high cholesterol level. We need complex, no problem. Complex uh, carbohydrate, no problem. Like bread, like rice, no problem. Mm -hmm. But it, it's uh, average amounts, not heavy amounts, okay? And uh, a healthy diet as well that uh, don't, don't have uh, m too much uh, cola, too much <laughs> like uh, that. Sugary drinks. Sugar, yeah, this is very, very, very risky. Mm -hmm. causing high cholesterol level. Mm -hmm. okay. Et nous c'est c'est loi si tu nous content. Nous bon petit quelque chose de nous bon cola pareil à indi sweets uh chocolate uh vraiment très attention. Yeah, yeah. Lo ça bon uh, sugar things. All simple sugars, all simple sugars is is causing for high cholesterol. It's considered as simple sugars? Yeah, simple sugar like like tea. Sugar, you should decrease the sugar in the tea or the cafe or cafe. Ça veut dire que si on met trois, quand il y a des cigarettes ou des cafés ou des tasses comme si réduire les petits gains, mettre des à avoir graduellement, on est capable de descendre jusqu'à là, on va arriver dans un ou bien un demi couillère, pas beaucoup, à cause de temporiser un petit peu, comme si on est balancé dans ça qui nous peut consommer, quand il concerne des cigarettes, un petit peu. How does cholesterol relate to the risk of cardiovascular disease? Yeah, this is very important question. Yeah, the high LDL cholesterol, this bad cholesterol, mm -hmm. when the level of LDL cholesterol more than 100 milligram or more than 3.3 millimol per liter, this causing deposition of cholesterol on the wall of the blood vessel in the first, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you can see on the picture the cholesterol level when precipitate on the wall of the blood vessel, with time, with time, this cholesterol level deposition on the wall increasing, increasing, and causing some, some blockage of the lumen of the artery, of all body artery, okay? Of all body arteries, it's not only heart arteries, no, no, heart arteries, brain, brain. arteries, all uh, kidney arteries, all, all the, the body, all, all the, the body. body. But we think, we, we're talking m m most of the time on heart because it's fatal, okay? Stroke is fatal. But all the body can affect it because they do high cholesterol level, high bad cholesterol level, causing deposition of the wall and the all the arteries, okay, causing narrowing of the lumen, lead to deficient or decrease the blood supply to the organ. Organ like heart, like brain, like kidneys, all the body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a problem. Because of high cholesterol, and uh, mental C high. Bad, high, yeah. bad cholesterol yeah. is very bad. Alors, nous devons prendre un petit peu plus de responsabilité. Et oui, nous aussi, nous prenons un groupe de manger qui nous devons avoir, éviter de manger par les docteurs. Il dit si nous avons un high, bad cholesterol, les fruits doivent être avoidés avec un high, bad cholesterol. Oui, c'est bon d'avoir un high fat. 
Fried fried is, is especially processed like, food. Like. Like fried fried chicken fried. Chips. We, yeah. Ah. All of us here in Seychelles eating fried chicken chips is good. You have noticed. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Right? But you should to decrease. Not not no forbidden, not forbidden, but should to, to decrease to average. And another point, another point, mm -hmm. very important, is exercise. I was going to to uh, to go on that point. Exercise. Yeah. How much do we say we do exercise in a week? In a week, uh, we have different type of exercise. Light exercise like cardio, walking, mm -hmm. running the track is good. About 150 minutes per week. In high intensity exercise like <laughs> athletes, about 75 minutes per week is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this exercise causing two important things. First one, decreasing the LDL cholesterol. How to do that? LDL cholesterol decreased by increasing HDL. When HDL increasing, HDL cholesterol increasing, they, tack, they bring, bring the LDL cholesterol from back from the blood vessel to the liver to be processed, to be metabolized. So if the, you train or walking or do any exercise that causing high HDL and low HDL and the, what we need. Mm -hmm. Okay, that the, th the, two the second point, a very, very important point, the diabetes. Prevention of diabetes is causing to control the cholesterol level. You know, any diabetic patient have dyslipidemia, have high cholesterol, because diabetes causing abnormal metabolism of carbohydrate and fat and protein as well. So this high risk group, any patient with diabetes should, should should any diabetic uh, person is any at diabetic patient he should to check the blood test for cholesterol level and if the high if the cholesterol level should take medication with the lifestyle modification diet healthy diet exercise then medication not only medication mm -hmm. it's very important to start with healthy diet exercise then medication, then medication. like statin like statins in, in general but doctor is exercise and healthy uh, diet enough alone, enough uh, f uh, to, to lower the cholesterol? Yeah. The new guidelines now tell us that about when you have patient with high cholesterol level, we should differentiate between two groups. This patient is has cardiovascular disease or not. If has cardiovascular disease, we should start with lifestyle, healthy diet, exercise, medication in the same time. But the patient have no cardiovascular disease and only, only for prophylaxis, we should start with lifestyle modification, exercise, healthy diet, and check again. If the cholesterol is good, it's okay. If it's still high, we should you have to start, check again. yeah, we should start medication after that. So should we differentiate between two groups. High healthy groups should start style, lifestyle modification, and healthy diet, and exercise with the medication at the same time. But the patient is not high risk, like, a uh, young patient without any disease, without any medical history, okay? We have blood tests for him. If cholesterol is a little bit high, you should start only lifestyle modification, mm. healthy diet, exercise, then they check after two or three months. If it's good, okay. If it's not it's still high, we should uh, add treatment for him. But how often uh, uh, you, you should uh, uh, check uh, the cholesterol level? How often? Not, not, not usually. Not every two months. No, no. Mm -hmm. For for high risk patient, every six months is good. Every for six months. Yeah, for low risk patient, no need for regular. For no need for regular or frequently checked cholesterol. Only follow up the lifestyle modification mm -hmm. for healthy body. Not only the numbers on the lab results. Okay, and then if you have any complaint, you should seek medical advice. If the doctor you see you need to do any investigation or blood test, you can mm -hmm. do that. Speaking uh, of, uh, of uh, medication, uh, let's talk about uh, when can it be treated? Sorry? When can it be treated? Medication. Medication. Mm -hmm. We have medication here for, we have medication for high cholesterol. But I told you, we have targets of cholesterol level. Not all the same, not all patients the same. If patient had stroke before, or uh, stroke before, or cardiovascular disease, MI, heart attack, or put a stent on the heart, uh, or stent on the heart, this patient should have very, very low cholesterol. 
You mm. can see on the picture now. This, uh, this one. Yeah, this one this is very, very here. important uh, statistic. Heart in disease, US. number one cause of death. Yeah, number one cause of this is heart disease. Mm -hmm. Every 60 seconds, half someone dies from cardiovascular disease. Every 60 seconds. Yeah, this statistics in the US. This very, very, you know, the number of patients, number of, of deaths due to cardiovascular disease is more more than cancer patients mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because we have uh, statistics in all the world not all in, not in Seychelles not only. Seychelles. no no all the all world, the world. The cardiovascular disease cardiovascular disease means means heart disease heart attacks stroke stroke okay aortic disease is very very you know many patients here admitted in the hospital with stroke with heart attack there's many many patients mm -hmm. in in the only uh, even in the you know this number in the US as well 18.6 million 18 deaths million. per year as cardiovascular disease per year per year yeah That's like one third of all death is due to cardiovascular disease it's a very important topic television this is very alarming yeah it's very globally alarming. yeah globally Globally, yeah. you can see the graph, uh, global causes of death. Cardiovascular disease, about 18.6. Cancer, back to the back slide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cancer is 10, 33. only 10. Only 10 yeah. You can see the cardiovascular cause of death is doubling the cancer cause of death. Okay, and, and heart, you can see the heart attacks every, every time, even in seizures with, with uh, not large community, we have every day heart attacks, every day in the hospital, every day, and every day have strokes, okay? And we should think about the, we should, uh, th there is no, the, the point is important in seashells that we have genetic disease for some cardiovascular disease for thrombosis. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only, it's not only cholesterol, that we took the average or the complete picture of the all risk factors. All risk factors include age, advancing age, and cholesterol level, smoking. Smoking is, is it a factor? Yeah, smoking causing high LDL cholesterol. So smoking causes dyslipidemia, causing atherosclerosis, causing cardiovascular disease. And, and very much or high amount of alcohol, alcohol. as well. Alcohol. Yeah, very high amount of alcohol can cause, can cause dyslipidemia, and cardiovascular disease, okay? This, and diabetes as well, I told you before, mm -hmm. hypertension, this all risk factors. Hypertension and diabetes. Yeah, this all risk factors for cardiovascular disease. So we should control it. You can see this big picture. We mm -hmm. have risk factors, but some non-modifiable and some modifiable. Modifiable like age, sorry, non-modifiable like age, we can't change our age. <laughs> we cannot change our age. Every day we are, we we are can, getting older. We cannot change our gender because Cardiovascular disease is more than in men, more than women. More in men than women? Yeah, because men have m a lot of stress, usually, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not like... Sorry for <laughs> that. You said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this statistics, this statistics, not, not mine. This statistics is that... The, is this is studies. Cardi yeah, studies. Cardiovascular <laughs> disease is more than in uh, men, more than women, okay? And genetic factor, I told you before, ethnicity and genetics. Yes. And this non-modifiable risk factor, we can't change this. But we have modifiable risk factors that we should control it. We should to act on it. Like high PB, smoking should to quit. Diabetes should to control. Physical act inactivity should to do routine mm -hmm. exercise. Obesity, we should to lose our weight, this one. And last one, high blood cholesterol. We should decrease high blood, bad cholesterol to decrease the side effect of this cholesterol on the heart and brain mm -hmm. and other organ, kidneys. We have many patients here with kidney problem. Really? Yeah, this, this patient have high cholesterol as well. Super regarde bon portrait qui nous qui nous permet qui docteur non mais pour partager avec nous il peut expliquer en même temps qui nous peut mettre sa bonne portrait si vous connaît ou dans ou dans sa position high ou bien bad cholesterol ou bien faire un petit effort un petit peu les efforts pour capable réduire 
et puis euh, ça bon le cholestérol fait lui descendre l'exercice euh, il va aider beaucoup ou la diète aussi il est capable aider beaucoup que tu quoi qui vous peut manger de ou l'assiette que quoi qui mal là ou l'assiette pour capable tirer et mettre ça qui bon pour capable réduire un petit peu ça bon le cholestérol il y en a tant quelque chose qui vient avec nous cause les cœurs nous cause les foies nous cause rognon et tant quelque chose qui vient avec le temps où on est ou on a un high risk of cholesterol ou bien bad cholesterol pour capable uh, aider pour faire les descend but if cholesterol is lowered will it lower the risk of uh, heart diseases yeah it, it, it decreases if yes. we have normal cholesterol and lower than normal than in within range is good to prevent this disease prevent cardiovascular disease and prevent heart attacks prevent stroke risk <laughs> you 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 know that the prevention is better than treatment we th we should to think to think about this prevention is better than, than treatment, treatment yes. we should prevent the disease better than to to wait this comes and treat okay prevention et plus bon qui traitement la docteur in dialos autant que possible qui nous capable empêcher éviter ça fait ça qu'appelle prévention pour nous capable après pour nous aller le traitement nous fait un petit peu plus of uh, prévention we have uh, questions from our viewers doctor uh, this uh, person said hi doc uh, good day to you yeah, is irregular heartbeat a real life threatening issue irregular heartbeat we should yeah this if we shouldn't have irregular heartbeat you should to seek medical advice mm -hmm. because the not only regular heartbeat this many types of arrhythmia many type of abnormal heart uh, rhythm okay we should to diagnose it first and then uh, to treat it like example for example you know the atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation is common in seizure why because atrial fibrillation in most of the patients is complication of high blood pressure and we have high percentage here in seizure was high blood tension high high blood tension patients Really? Yeah, we have high percentage. So high percentage of high, this high blood pressure causing atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation means irregular heartbeats. Irregular heartbeats and causing palpitation, patient complaining palpitation mm -hmm. is very annoying. So we should to control blood pressure to prevent to develop this atrial fibrillation. If we have atrial fibrillation, if we have atrial fibrillation as the case, we should take treatment for control the heart rate and we should to take the first important drug is anticoagulant for this patient because atrial fibrillation causing thrombosis and this thrombosis may away may go to brain may go to heart may go to kidneys so any patient with atrial fibrillation should, conti should continue on anticoagulation like warfarin with INR monitoring like levaroxaban according to the age according to the bleeding risk of the patient mm -hmm. we decide the global treatment Voilà, Roli, la réponse pour aux questions qui ont demandé any side effects? For what? For medication. Any any medication have side effect. Mm -hmm. If the medication have no side effect, it's equal have no effect. Okay? Any medication have side effect, but you should control the benefits of the medication is more than the risk. If the benefit is high, we can't take the medication. If the risk of the medication is high, we cannot take you the medication. You cannot take the medication. Yeah. Yes. So there is treatment yeah. medication for cholesterol. Yeah, it's very, very important. But with moderation. Sorry? With moderation. With moderation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have uh, treatment and medication for cholesterol. Can you live longer with high cholesterol? Can we live longer? Can we live, but at risk. At risk. <laughs> yeah. At risk of developing cardiovascular disease like stroke, like uh, mm -hmm. MI, mm -hmm. we can live, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we should to prevent that. Stroke, if you have high, bad cholesterol, cholesterol does that mean it, you are at high risk of a stroke? Yeah, is, is correct, because like like like, like the heart, mm -hmm. bad cholesterol precipitating in the wall of the blood vessels supplying the brain and me causing atherosclerosis, then thrombosis causing the stroke. Like this picture, like you know? Like this picture? Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, the lower picture is normal. It's normal artery, it's, small, it's, it's clear and good one. You can see the, the middle picture mm -hmm. is the deposition of cholesterol in the wall of the blood vessel, causing stenosis or blockage of the 
arteries that supplying the brain so can cause a stroke this is the cause of stroke the main cause of stroke here in mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. high cholesterol is main cause of stroke okay with atrial fibrillation i told you before atrial fibrillation causing thrombosis so we should to control these two topics as main topics in the stroke prevention atrial fibrillation prevention and cholesterol level high bad cholesterol level. high bad cholesterol pari dokte per spliche i limeo n li high bad cholesterol i limeo n pu kapab gani e l'attack la cervel l'attack le ke s'il vous plaît on nous et pour nous pour responsabilité quote bon quelque chose i concerne on nous fait nous prévention bonne la nous pe cause low heart attack zistema heart attack Every day, every day you someone have. get a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, every day. Not mm -hmm. only one, more. More? <laughs> yeah, more than one. Every day in sessions. <laughs> in sessions, yeah. more than one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been here in sessions for four months already. Yeah, so what have yeah. you observed? Is it alarming, our bad, good, high cholesterol? I, I saw many patients in this short period. Mm -hmm. Most patients have high cholesterol and high more risk factors for developing heart disease and cardiovascular disease in general. Many patients, I, this, I saw many patients with this. Every, every week we can sue the patient in OBD clinic or in casualty in the admitting, in the, or the admitted patient, we have high cholesterol and many risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, this main cause of cardiovascular disease. And we have here in Sicily many patients go to overseas treatment to, 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 to put a stent on the blocked artery. To block it, yeah. Yeah, we, I, I, I'm intervention cardiologist. I do that in my country. You I can do Egypt. that? Yeah, but we don't have here cath lab in Sicily. So we're sending the patient for overseas treatment. Mm. It's very, very important to, to have cath lab here. We, we, now we're discussing to Do we need that lab. here? Yeah, we need it uh, no, every time. Mm -hmm. Every time, but on not only the cardiovascular only, not only the MI patient, to prevent the developing MI. If we have a stenosis only, not blockage, we can put a stent in this na narrowing artery to, to prevent to have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Très important, Paris Docteur, to explain, but how much cholesterol is too much? How much? How much is too much? Yeah, how much is too much? According to the patient risk factors, not all the patients are the same. The average, the average cholesterol, total cholesterol, or less should be less than 5.1 millimole per liter. 5.1. Yeah, total cholesterol should be should be less than this number. LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, should be less than 3.3 millimole millimole per liter uh, level. Okay, this 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 numbers for most of the patients, but but the patient if the patient have has any heart attack before any stroke we should do less than these numbers mm -hmm. yeah. but can it be lowered naturally without any medication pain? naturally yeah it can yeah. be yeah with 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 healthy diet mm -hmm. and ex routine exercise it, it's enough to decrease the level of cholesterol you know you know sir, so the, the now we have to, to we have the range now eh? Healthy yeah, cholesterol yeah. range. total cholesterol should be decreased less than 5.1 or 5.2 is optimal, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Millimol per liter, mm -hmm. and LDL cholesterol that is a bad cholesterol that on the on the management of this lipidemia we depending on the management of LDL cholesterol, not all the total. We are depending on that. Yeah, and the guide all the guidelines depending on the number of the LDL cholesterol. For most the patient, we should to have LDL cholesterol less than three point three millimol per liter. If the if this number increasing like up to four, uh, more than four is very, very it's high very risk. Bad. Yeah, yeah, it's very bad. Because high cholesterol can deposit in the wall of any artery, heart and brain, and even every, everywhere in the body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. La la, uh, bonne statistique, uh, bonne range, qui doit être healthy cholesterol range, qui doit être amené pour partage avec nous, il faudrait cinq points de, à cause de ça, si il peut des de ça, it's bad news. Si il peut aider sur ça, s'il vous plaît, c'est là nous prenons un petit peu euh, nos responsabilités et nous capables de faire une bonne diète pour contrôler un petit peu le cholestérol dans euh, les corps. Mais pas dire, si on a un cholestérol, si vous avez un high risk cholestérol, c'est un uh, high risk pour capable de gagner l'attaque la cervelle, pour gagner l'attaque les cœurs, si vous avez un high risk 
l'eau, le cholestérol, il concerne ce pas si résiste des centres cliniques, fait check à cause de check qui est capable de faire check un petit coup ou level le cholestérol dans le corps, comme ça, on connaît qui est position, qui est statut, et là, si il bat, tant mieux, si il est haut, il est capable de gagner, il y a une bonne directive, il y a un bon consultant, qui là, il y a un consultant avec nous qui est capable de nous donner une directive, comment il est, ou pour éviter, comment il est, ou pour réduire sa bonne cholestérol dans le corps, dans l'exercice. Nous avons une diète, la diète, mais tous les deux ensemble, il est capable de marcher, mais seulement il faut des étudier. Willpower. Hein? En même temps, pour capable imaginer nous connaître, donc ça va nous go-go, watchy pork, ça va nous go-go, on va connaître lasagne, pizza, it's greasy things, mais seulement, we are, we have the cravings of greasy things uh, yeah, at times, <laughs> and it, but it's bad cholesterol. Yeah, it's bad cholesterol. And we, we should to not only concentrate on the medication. For example, If the patient, if any patient have diabetes and take medication, even insulin, he can take more, e more sugar. Mm -hmm. He can take more sugar. No. If he take more sugar, the medication cannot control. It will not work. Not con cannot control this medication, this, this high mm -hmm. blood sugar. Like that cholesterol, we should continue on the healthy diet. It's very, very important. Routine exercise is very, very important. And It should work that too, eh? diet and exercise. Yeah, it's very, very important topics. Exercise and, and diet is very, very important to decrease the bad cholesterol and increasing the good cholesterol. You know, no medication can cause high good cholesterol. Only diet and exercise. exercise. And smoking should to stop because smoking causes high cholesterol and causing the cholesterol to be oxidized. Not only the cholesterol problem is number. The main topics that cholesterol is high number and then be oxidized ox cholesterol causing complications so should to healthy diet <laughs> exercise healthy diet and stop smoking, stop smoking uh, not more alcohol and this treatment is the last step not only the first step treatment it's medication the last resort yeah it's last, last option. resort not last not the first option first option is, is lifestyle modification capable de petit peu avec le lifestyle, uh, si vous êtes capable, uh, à cause du traitement, par il dit, c'est le dernier resort, et la dernière option, avant de faire un traitement, jouer un petit peu avec le lifestyle, uh, organiser un petit peu pour les qui ça, parce que quand vous avez le traitement, vous n'avez pas bon du tout là, pas développé de alors naturellement, si vous êtes capable, uh, rendre un petit peu le lifestyle, uh, the more, the better, avant que vous puissiez aller à la clinique chaque jour pour vérifier votre cholestérol ou vous allez vivre sur les pills. Oui. Ce n'est pas bon. Ce n'est pas bon. Ce n'est pas bon. Vous devez contrôler votre vie de santé avant de prendre les médicaments si ce n'est pas contrôlable. Docteur, je veux parler un petit peu sur les produits. Dans les shops, partout, nous avons des produits on the uh, on the products that that's it L low cholesterol in the list of ingredients low cholesterol does that mean it is low in fat as well yeah it's mean low fat it's mean that's low mean fat. low fat mm -hmm. but we have uh, in the in the shop or supermarket we we have uh, low fat like skin milk like for that mm -hmm. okay this low fat milk not equal no fat is low fat milk oh, it's, it's, it's low fat it's good milk. no problem it's good no problem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it is necessarily low fat or not? Sorry? It is necessarily low fat or no, not? No, 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 not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. No, no, no. You should continue the routine, your diet health, but you should do decrease only the, pro the decrease, not, not forbidden. We should to have low fat diet, not no fat diet. No because we, know we need fat. We need fat, yes. Our We've body, good fat. I, told, I told in the first in the introduction that cholesterol is very important for each cell in our body. Not, not all cholesterol is bad. We need cholesterol, but we need cholesterol in the, within the range, within the normal range. Mm -hmm. okay. what, is, what will be your recommendation? Let, 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 let's uh, let, uh, stay in Seychelles. For the people of Seychelles, what will be your recommendation? Yeah. My recommendation for Seychelles during this period, I saw many patients, yes. so I can uh, conclude or summarize the problem with the patients in Seychelles. First problem, first problem is, di is diabetes and high sugar diet. We have many diabetes. Many diabetic. patients of diabetic patients. Yes. And this diabetic patient have high cholesterol by nature <laughs> because 
diabetes mainly is causing abnormal metabolism for carbohydrate, not for carbohydrate only, for carbohydrate and for fat metabolism and for protein as well. So diabetic patients have high level to so should control diabetes. We should control for patients and we should, we should prevent our community from this, uh, this disease. We should uh, continue on the healthy diet, lifestyle medication to prevent or at least to, li to be late, not 30, 30 years patient with diabetes is very, very young mm -hmm. to have disease. This disease causing many complications with age. If we have diabetes uh, on the age of 60 or 70s, accept it. That, that would be okay. Yeah, it's accepted. But not like 25 years old. No, it's very, very dangerous. That's too young. Especially type 2. Type 2, because diabetes is many types. The famous types is type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is a problem in the pancreas. We should to replace it by insulin. We should control the sugar. This is not common, not common. But the most common is type 2, due to obesity and insulin resistance. This type 2 causing many, many, many complications in young patients. Because we have patients 20, 20s and 30s age with diabetes. With diabetes? Yeah, we have patients here. That's a young age. It's very young. And will develop complications earlier. If we have diabetes on the age of 60, when I have complication is about 20 years. But if, we, if the patient had uh, diabetes on the 20 or 30, we had complication in the 50. You can, mm -hmm. because uh, so it's very, very still young. Yeah, 50 yeah. is still young. Not Another old. text. Uh, <laughs> 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 this one, is, uh, this, uh, listen to this one. So you want to be careful now, huh? Listen to this one, doctor. Say, good morning, beautifuls. Morning to morning. you. Please ask the doctor if a person eat two eggs every day, if it's good, but, she, but he or she didn't say if fried or boiled egg, we don't know that, but two eggs per day. It's good. It's good. But not fried. Not fried. Yeah. Boiled egg, boiled. it should be good. Boiled is good because... Boiled hard egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boiled hard, is not, fr not fried. Egg is, is contained not only cholesterol, not only fat. Mm -hmm. Egg is, is, con is containing the protein. Proteins, yes. And fat is good. No mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Not fried eggs. If you are referring to fried eggs too, it's not good. But if it's boiled hard egg yeah, it's too, good. it's good. It's good. We need it. You do not recommend. We need it. We need it. You don't recommend fried. Eh? No, no, we not recommend. Two, two, not every day. Not every day. Not every day. Two, maybe two, three times a week. Two times is is more. It's <laughs> one. No, no, maybe. times is, is not good. two. One. Not two. <laughs> Anti peu conscient là si vous pouvez frire des dizaines fois par jour si ça élimine ça des fais des dizaines fruits nous pouvons cuisiner fruits fais des dizaines fruits quatre fois par jour deux mais trois fois par semaine tout pour le fruit mais par contre si vous pouvez brûler que nous dit brûler bol hard avec des red pas molle si vous pouvez faire les brûler it soaké pour manger dizaines fruits des par jour mais pas fruits à cause là il y a quelque chose différent another text it's a pity that such an important topic is not being discussed in Creole for, for easier and greater particip participation. It's a pity, yes, but uh, thank you for understanding. If you ap uh, appreciate uh, our topic, we have Dr. Lot Fila who can explain uh, to us, but it's a good thing if you can understand us as well. Uh, thank you, maybe next time we can get uh, a doctor, uh, a Creole, Seshelwa, maybe, but I don't know if we, we do yeah. have in that department, if uh, if a I consultant? If, if, if I can. A session work consultant, do we have? Mm, no. uh, we have internal medicine. We have? Yeah, yeah, we have internal medicine, mm -hmm. not, not cardiologist. Okay, we, we do have, uh, but not cardiologist. Avec le temps, mon mazine est non capable de gagner. Bon, c'est ce qu'il dans sa domaine, par une dite sa piti. Yes, mais souvent, il y a une bonne question qui nous bise à cause de l'eau Another text, uh, it's in Creole. I will try to translate that one to you. Good morning, uh, good, good morning. 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 Uh, Mary says, what type uh, of food you should uh, avoid for a good diet for us to stop this cholesterol thing? Hmm. It's, it's very, very important question. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, do, to tell that about many times. It's very important. Mm -hmm that we should to decrease fried food. We should to increase in the ve high vegetable diet, high fruit diet, not, not no processed meat, 
is very important mm-hmm. in, uh, to decrease the high fat content diet not all fat we, ha- we should continue on the low fat diet. low fat diet yeah it's mm-hmm. very important so we don't to, to it's fried fried food is the ma- major this is important. the main culprit yeah this main culprit yes fried yes it's the main culprit mary ou la réponse euh, sont capables d'éviter fruits beaucoup fruits euh, par jour fruits poisson fruits d'isef fruits de bergam quelque chose comme ça éviter pas dit pas dit tout pas faire dit tout mais seulement éviter euh, réduire un petit peu this is the main culprit fried foods what about uh, our our like uh, our own uh, organic uh, uh, chips banana chips yeah. uh, cassava chips Yes. Chips is good. It's good. But uh, is if fried mo- many times in the week is very uh, mm-hmm. not good. One times per week is good. Okay, it's good. No problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Have you uh, have you test our banana chips? No, not, not, not yet? yet. Not yet. Why? <laughs> it's been here four <laughs> months already. I will, I will try. <laughs> you will try? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fried foods, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will try it one w- one of the week. One of the week. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> good. One of the week. <laughs> Doctor Lotfi, it was uh, absolute pleasure to have met with you today uh, on such a short uh, notice, but uh, thank you for coming, uh, for this, uh, uh, joining me for this conversation to talk about uh, cholesterol and uh, the heart, which uh, is coming, I think, in the next coming two, three weeks. Uh, it's, uh, it's there. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank we you have a much. good uh, conversation. We, you have explained uh, well, and we have viewers uh, as well who were uh, talking to us, uh, get in touch uh, with us, uh, to get uh, the uh, answer for the question. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank you. How long you w- will you be here, Mr. Shaz? <sighs> it's <a> difficult question. <laughs> difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> but you will be here for long? Not long. Not long? Not long. Going soon? <laughs> not soon. <laughs> not long, not soon. <laughs> not long, not soon. <laughs> months, months. Months. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I'm, hop- uh, I'm hoping to see or hear from you soon before you go. Yeah, I hope, that, you I hope that you are. I'm very happy to be with you there and now here and discussing this very, very important topic to all social people. It's good to meet you today. It's good for me and good for all of us. Thank, thank you, you so thank much, you much. Uh, Dr. Lotfi. Thank all you. the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Merci. Merci. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a new topic conversation.